MMAweekly.com, Damon Martin here with Kenny Florian. Kenny, obviously the announcement was made recently, you're going to be coming back January 22nd against Evan Dunham. Can you give us your thoughts on Evan as an opponent and the timing for this fight? You know, uh, I think Evan's a fantastic opponent. Um, you know, I consider him still undefeated. Uh, you know, I thought he won that fight against Sean Shirk. And uh, just a real well-rounded and dangerous opponent. So these are the kind of guys that uh, I want to face. I consider him a, a top ten in the world. So I, I think it's a, a great step back in, in the right direction, which is, uh, you know, hopefully back to the top. You've been a fighter that's always reacted very well off a loss. You seem to, you know, react to whatever happened wrong and fixing it. Um, this is a different stylistic matchup, obviously, than Gray Maynard. So, how are your thoughts after that fight? And and change? Did you change much going right into this Evan Dunham fight? Yeah, you know, I changed a lot. Uh, you know, I still uh, assume like uh, I'm going to face the best wrestler in, divi in the division. So I've been uh, really upping the amount of wrestling that I've been doing, doing a lot of uh, jujitsu, a lot off my back, um, and. Um, and just, of course, uh, back to the regular schedule as far as striking goes and all that stuff. So, you know, you, you try different things, you, you work for different things, and you expect certain things in fights, but um, there's times where you learn out there in the fight itself, and, and uh, you make certain mistakes, sometimes you have bad nights, whatever it is. It's, you know, a lot of ways to win and lose in the sport, and, uh, you know, I don't think anybody has it uh, completely figured out just yet. So uh, I'm learning just like everybody else. I um, learned a lot from that last fight. And uh, just very uh, hungry and motivated to, uh, to go in and fight Evan Dunham coming up in January. A lot of people, when they come off losses, you see a different fighter. Sometimes it's negative, sometimes it's positive. You seem to react very well. Is there a different mentality in your game or, or your training or your coaches that you seem to come back almost a, not really a new fighter, but almost a reinvented Kenny Florian any, any time that's ever happened? Yeah, you know, I've never been uh, one to need a lot of motivation. So, you know, I think I have a little bit extra motivation after a loss. Um, but uh, it, it's learning, you know. I, I try to learn from my experiences, you know, whether it's a win or a loss. And I think we learn most from losses, of course. And um, it's just uh, it serves for better training methods, and, and uh, it gives me um, more information, I guess, basically to to where I need to take my training, and it just refines me as a fighter. So I try to, you know, take the ego out of it and, and uh, just get better as a fighter. And after a loss, man, you know, you learn a lot if, if you're. If you're semi-smart, you, you learn a lot and you know how to adjust. Yeah. Um, with Evan Dunham, you know, I think everyone would kind of classify him as a very, very well-rounded fighter. He's not specifically a wrestler. He's not specifically a striker. Extremely well-rounded. When you yeah. look at him as a challenge, I mean, does it create a new kind of fun training camp for you? Because you don't have to worry about one thing. You have to worry about everything with him. Yeah, no, absolutely. You know, Evan Dunham is one of those guys. He's a true mixed martial arts fighter, and he's, he's a guy who I admire because he, he comes out and he fights aggressively. Uh, he looks for the finish. He, he wants to beat you. And, and uh, you know that's exciting to me and, he, and he's dangerous and, and he is one of the top fighters in the world so that's a fight for me where uh, I know I'll be pushed to the limits in all aspects and, and, uh, and learn a lot that's what I'm in this sport for is to get better and better and uh, you know Evan definitely will, uh, will assist me in that process uh, you're going to be fighting this in front of the troops of course in Fort Hood um, you know I know you've traveled for the troops you've done you know tours and things like that what does it mean to you to be the main event in a fight like this you know man it, it means a lot you know I, I love the military and what they do I found a lot of inspiration I read a lot about uh, military history and, and things like that and, and uh, you know they're, they're really are the true warriors and to have an opportunity to fight for them uh, and, you know uh, in Fort Hood is definitely a real honor and, and uh, uh, hope to make them proud uh, like, like they make us all, make us all uh, proud uh, every single day.